I'm with John London, who is the president and CEO of Nuvo Pharmaceuticals. Uh, John, please tell us about the company and also introduce uh, the symbol, please. Sure. We're traded on the Toronto Stock Exchange. Uh, the symbol is NRI. And uh, we um, manufacture and sell pain products, the main one of which is Pensaid 2%. Pensay 2% is a topical NSAID uh, which treats pain, usually from arthritis, and we've been able to demonstrate in clinical studies that it works as well as oral NSAIDs, but it avoids the systemic side effects of orals because you apply it topically to the affected joint and you don't subject your entire body to the medication. So for audience members who don't know exactly uh, what this, what your product is about, tell us uh, who it applies for and, and what use it is. Sure. It applies for anyone that has pain in their joints, but it's mostly used for older patients that have arthritis, which of course, because of the demographic changes, is a very significant and growing market. Okay. And um, Nuva Pharmaceuticals is very new. Uh, so what is the growth strategy? Well, we have really three ways that we're going to grow. Uh, currently, Pense 2% is approved only in the United States by the FDA and is sold by our partner, Horizon Pharma. Um, so they've grown scripts five times, I guess, uh, from where they were at the beginning of 2015 to the end of 2015. That's one way we're going to grow. Uh, we also have plans to make it a global brand, so we'll be looking to find partners all around the world um, who can sell in their particular jurisdiction. So we don't have a sales force. We don't try to sell around the world. We rely on partners to do that. And uh, we have a strong cash position without any debt that will be growing. So we plan to deploy that cash to look for other assets that are also accretive in the sense that we don't want to do R&D, which is something that we used to do. We strictly want to be a, a revenue EBITDA profit story. And what is the one key message that you'd like to get across to the investor audience? I think what we've been trying to communicate today is that we have a very simple growth story for an approved product um, that is currently approved in the United States, but which we believe we can make uh, a global brand. Lastly, if there are any challenges uh, with uh, the market, what are they and how are you overcoming them? I don't think there's significant challenges. Uh, as I said earlier, we used to be in drug development. There's many significant challenges in drug development, but when you have an asset, as we do with Penn State 2%, that's approved, it really just is a case of executing it and doing what we've done in the United States and, and in Canada and uh, doing that all around the world um, effectively. Um, so that's our challenge. All right. Well, thank you so much for that time, John. Thank you.